Hello, wonderful Aquarius, and welcome to January 2020. Can you believe we're here? This is Gwendolyn, and welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. This is going to be a January mid-month reading for Aquarius. And we just came off of a major transit. We just had Pluto conjunct Saturn, which is really volcanic energy. It really is about breaking up structures that used to exist. It's funny that we actually I had this five of uh, coins jumping out as I'm talking here. So some of you may feel left out in the cold about something or feeling like there was some kind of loss that happened with this conjunction. But it's, it's usually a breaking up of structures. And it's funny that we had a volcano in the Philippines um, that day because Pluto is the ruler of the underworld and Saturn is the ruler of structure and order. And when those two come together, you can have really explosive effects. Um, my heart goes out to all those in the Philippines who are affected. I don't mean to say it's funny. I'm, I'm, what I mean to say is that it's coincidental or ironic or, you know, it's notable that that same energy would present itself in the world um, as as that conjunction happens. So for some of you, this may mean uh, that there was a big breaking up of some structure or order. There's been a lot of really intense eclipses that have happened recently um, as well as that. So some of this can feel like a real reset or like the, um, the slate has been wiped clean in some area of your life. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the reading, but I just wanted to mention that if you're feeling any heaviness or that there's been something that's been wiped away, that's very much in the ethers right now with what's going on in the sky. It's reflecting that energy. Um, it's What it's doing is it's breaking away all the old structure and order that is no longer alive. It's sort of like clearing away an old building to make room for the new building that is coming. And I'm calling this year 2020 the year of seeing clearly, the year of clear vision. It can also be the year of hindsight. So it might be a good time to look back on the things you learned from the prior, say even 10 years, and if, if at least the prior year, and see what truths came to the surface. Which truths are remaining? And what do you want to build with next? So let me shuffle one more time here, Aquarius, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into the reading. This will be from mid-month January to mid-February, and I'm working with the Aquarian deck. I'll put a link to that below. I also have some more announcements um, about some fun things coming up, so I will save those for the end of the video. Stick around if you want to hear those. Start off with King of Cups. This is, you could potentially be working with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This could be a water sign. Or it just means someone who is stable and emotionally available. This is usually representative of the ideal partner, someone who is emotionally balanced. They may um, be someone who is available, who is always caring and compassionate and loving. This is either someone who's showing up in your field or the, the archetype and the image of this person is showing up. So that's this person has love on their mind. They operate from a place of love, almost always. And then this is High Priestess in reverse. So this card is a card of your intuition, trusting what you know. High Priestess in reverse could be that there are secrets coming out, that things that were hidden before are now being revealed. Um, it can also mean that you're not trusting that inner guidance or inner voice, for example, of like who this king of cups might be or if there's someone who is presenting as a lover um, there might be something that is saying you know a small voice about who they are whether it's positive or negative but you're not necessarily listening to it so this tells me to to mention to really focus on listening to your intuition listening to those signals that come through to you and for some reason I'm noticing the um, the similarity in their in their headdress or their hat. I'm for some reason, Aquarius, I'm getting that this could be you. 
that you are wanting to find yourself as that ideal lover, as that ideal partner, as that you're trying to find the emotional side of yourself. So this could be a really good time as we're going into February for you to access that and look into that. Um, it's really saying try to overcome any fear, doubt, or resistance about going inward and trusting those messages that come up for you. Nine of Wands in reverse means letting go of defensiveness. It means um, if you've been a, if you've been hurt in the past and you feel like things are always a battle, if you feel like you've been wounded so many times, you might be willing to let this go now. You, this is an encouragement to let go of any defensiveness, any woundedness, any feeling of I keep getting knocked down. Usually this card I call my Cool Hand Luke card, and it means someone who gets knocked down but always gets back up. And in the reverse, it may be saying that you've been knocked down a lot and you're finding it difficult to get back up. But it's encouraging you to do that. It's encouraging you to say, don't have the fear of getting back up after you've been knocked down. Don't have any resistance or doubt about the fact that you can go forward, that you can um, get back up after being knocked down, Aquarius. So I'm really getting the sense that love is coming towards you, but you need to do some inner self-inquiry. And don't be afraid of, of, you know, learning from past mistakes or things that hurt you. You can recover and heal from that. That doesn't have to be the definition of you going forward. Again, this is this is interesting. This is death in reverse. So this means, uh, again, a fear, doubt, or resistance about letting something go that is old and gone and dead. For some of you, I'm getting that this is a hesitancy to let go of an old relationship that is very much in the past. That is, is it's almost like you're doing a face-off with death, saying, I never want that to happen to me again. I'm never going to allow my heart to be stomped on again. I'm never going to want to get kicked down. But it's it's really telling me that you need to let go of anything that's like that, anything that has outgrown its vitality, because look what's trying to come in, or what may be right in front of you right now, this King of Cups energy. It's almost requiring for you to do the introspection to let go of the old stories that are long and dead and need to just sort of be, uh, it's like a plant that needs to be pruned away that allows you to rise up again and have that uh, survivor mentality, like I can survive through anything. So that's gonna give you a lot of courage. I, I get a lot of love and emotional energy coming in for you as we round the corner into February, Aquarius. Make sure that you let go of any old stories that are stagnant, dormant, anything that doesn't feel like it's happening in the present moment. It's time to cut that loose. Um, three of Pentacles. This is a challenge to working together, a challenge to group efforts. Um, there's some fear, some doubt, some resistance to working collaboratively, maybe with someone, to putting an effort in a group dynamic. Or um, some of you may have felt like there was th third party involvement in the past that you just don't want to repeat. Um, but it's saying that maybe working alone right now is the way for you to go or that you may have to go inwards and do some introspection before you feel comfortable and ready to work on things with another person or with multiple people. Let's see what else is coming up. Temperance. This is going to serve you. This is the middle ground, the middle path, the middle way. So what this is telling to me, especially under this other major arcana card here, is you can go within and say, okay, look, even though I do have this fear, this doubt, this resistance, I can do it anyway. You know, it's it's sort of like saying there's there's usually two cups being of two hearts on this card. And it's finding moderation, finding peace, finding the middle path. So you can say to yourself, even though I have fear about something, I can still take action on it. That's very temperance energy. Or even though I think one way about it, I can feel another way about it. It's finding that middle ground. Both of these cards here are about cooperation. Three of coins in reverse and temperance. So it's telling me that even though there's something that you find difficult, it could be in a relationship, it could be in a group dynamic, it could be in a family, 
there's something that you're finding difficulty with cooperation or building together, but you ma you manage to find some sort of compromise, some sort of cooperation where both parties are, get to be seen and heard, and that you find that middle road. So this is a real card of peace, stability, balance, and I see that if you are able to get quiet and think about, okay, what's going to be a good answer um, so I don't feel like I'm constantly going through this, getting knocked down, this old story, I can learn to cooperate and find that, um, that moderate path in between. So this is going to be a real period for you, Aquarius, of finding what's good for you as well as what's good for the other. If you can think about what is win-win, it doesn't have to be the other person wins and you lose, or you win at the expense of the other. That's called a, um, I believe it's called a zero-sum game, where there has to be a plus one and a minus one. It can be plus one, plus one. In other words, both people can benefit from cooperation, from finding a compromise, from uh, the the moderate path from choices that acknowledge both people's points of view. And that might help you in any cooperative, collaborative efforts. Yeah, two of cups in reverse. There's a lot of energy here of something being out of balance, out of whack, or that you don't want to participate potentially, especially in love efforts, because you don't feel like you're getting a fair shake, or that you don't feel like you, um, that things are being presented fairly, or that one person is winning and the other person is losing. It can really be about what is, what is, what keeps the peace? Where do both people get acknowledgement? What, what is, um, fair in terms of both people's hearts? So, Again, I'm just I'm seeing a lot of cards related to collaboration here, to coming together. And I see that there's love being offered, very much so, whether this is you or another person, or potentially both. Let's see what else is coming out here. Yeah, two of wands. Look at how many two cards are here. Two of wands, two of cups. Temperance usually represents two two cups being poured between one another. This is number two of the major arcana. I'm really getting that this is in relationship to you and cooperation with another person. This is a hard time making a decision about something. Two of Wands is a card about decisions of what sort of action to take. Each wand represents a different direction. And this usually means receiving help. So is there a way, Aquarius, that you are feeling like you need to do it all yourself? or that you are resisting receiving help from someone else. Usually this is also a card about seeing your goals, seeing your vision, seeing where you want to go, and having someone else help you along the way to get to that goal. And this is saying to me that in some ways you feel like you have to do it all yourself, um, that you don't want to work with anyone else. You feel much more comfortable making logical, rational decisions that just feel even keeled, that you, you might be a little bit hesitant or worried about getting involved in the emotional component of things, but this is telling me with King of Cups upright, you can handle it. You are at a place where you can welcome this in, Aquarius, or that there's someone else who is an emotional expert who is going to be compassionate, who is going to be loving and caring, but it might be they might be triggering to you. You might not want to work with them because they are coming from such a different place as far as mind versus heart. So look at where you are at with that and see where they're at with that and see if you can't find a middle ground between the two of you. That's really the message I'm getting here. What else is coming up? Moon is in reverse. So again, something about secrets coming out, information coming out that you didn't know that about something that is going to help you make a decision Moon usually has um, images of the dog and the wolf, which is our rational, it's kind of confirming what I just said, is that it's usually the rational, logical side of us, ver you know, left-hand brain stuff, versus the irrational, primal, um, passionate, unbridled side of us, the right brain, the creative side. So it's saying that you may be having a hard time balancing head and heart. And it's offering you that opportunity with temperance 
in the upright. It, this person actually may be in your environment to help you balance that this month. And it's also your birthday month. So some of you are entering into a new, actually all of you will be entering into a new personal year this month. So it's sort of like there's a new you that is willing to look into this, how does one balance head and heart? I'm actually liking this for you, but this person may be triggering for you who's in your environment. We've got the King of Coins, King of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be someone who is working on getting in charge of their money. You may be dealing with two males, um, one who is more emotional and one who is more practical. Um, but, or this could be you, Aquarius, trying to get a handle on your finances, focusing on business, uh, welcoming in entrepreneurship, starting your own endeavor or your own enterprise. But it also could just mean getting a, a handle on your finances. And then what else do we have here? The tower in reverse. Yeah, you're resisting a change is what this tells me. Tower is usually a card that has to do with big changes happening all at once. There may be a fear that if you allow this change to come, that it's going to tear apart your world. And usually tower, just like with that Capricorn, um, Saturn and Capricorn, conjunct with Pluto and Capricorn energy, there's a reason that, that storms hit the tower, which is to clear out all the old rigid systems. A lot of people have fears about this card, but it's really a clearing out of old outdated things. It's echoing death in reverse and tower in reverse tells me there's something in your life that is old and outdated that you might feel safe in, but it's keeping you restricted. It's almost like a prison, even though it may feel like a home, a safe and secure fortress, it's actually holding you back and limiting you. So there is some, what I'm going to say is don't fear the change that comes with letting this old thing go. This perhaps even old story of having to feel like you're always the sole survivor, feeling like maybe it's difficult to work with someone else, that they don't understand your point of view. You're going to be getting new information revealed to you during this period with moon in reverse and high priestess in reverse, if you can allow it. Um, and tower is a big change that you might not see coming, but I'm going to say embrace that energy. In the reverse, it's saying there's fear, doubt, or resistance about this energy coming in, about this big change. I'm going to say embrace it. You're going to, you you really have a lot of things opening up to you mid-January to mid-February, Aquarius, if you allow it. You can either allow fear to dominate it, in which case there will be a lot of mm, tension, chaos, uh, friction in this change that's somewhat inevitable coming in, or you can go with it and it can actually be exhilarating and liberating and free, you know, freeing. So, Let's see what else is, yeah, it's it's definitely to do with a relationship. This is lovers. I see you working through it. This is lovers in the upright. Interestingly enough, sometimes lovers can be a decision that we have to make, and under this two of wands, reverse is telling me that if you have reservations about making a decision, it could be between two people. By the end of the month, something big changes, and you are able to make that decision. So there's a lot of two energy Funny enough, uh, this is also covering the period for Valentine's Day, so some of you by the end of this may have a new person in your life. This King of Cups may be someone that you either embody or that you allow in by the, by the middle of February. So happy early birthday to you, Aquarius. That's my reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And this weekend, January 19th, Sunday, I'm going to be a guest on Madame Pamita's Q&A Tea Party. We're going to be doing tarot. We're going to have some special offers on there. We're going to do live readings. And if you want to ask live questions in that session, um, you can go to her website, parlorofwonders.com. I'll put a link below. And you can join us there. Hope to see you. It's going to be 5 p.m. West Coast time and 8 p.m. East Coast time. And I'm also releasing a tarot deck, a new one that I've just made called Tarot of Flowers. You can check that out as well. Um, there will be a special offer on that in our session. 
And uh, as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful start to the new year, and I will speak with you soon. Yours in the stars.